Hi guys, welcome back. I am Red Zed, and today we are continuing our Seleucid campaign in RTR Imperium Serectum. And I thought today we'd take stock of our nation and how far we have come. If you have been enjoying this series, guys, please do consider giving it a like and a subscribe. It really does help the channel out. And if I do say so myself, I've got to say... From my perspective anyway, it's one of the most epic campaigns I've ever had in Total War. And as the Seleucids, we are finally about to return home to Greece. And it's going to be glorious. But we will take a look at our nation at the end of this episode, guys. Not right at the start. So we will take a look right at the end. Uh, but we have plenty to do here. Uh, we are moving along to there. We also have these guys we can move, so you can actually get into Zella now, which is quite a big uh, city. It's a little bit upset. It's not hugely rich, Zella, and you actually didn't do anything. You are only 16, though, so maybe you can get a few extra uh, traits in there and start making it some money. 173 gold. That's not very acceptable. Look at that corruption. Oh, and also the entertainment because of their daily games. Oh, dearie, dearie me. That is uh, not great for us, <laughs> I've got to say. But I just wanted to show you uh, Seleucia, guys. Um, because as much as it doesn't look like there's any trade coming out of here yet. Oh, you can see it up there from when I went over here before. Let's have a look at how much money Seleucia is making. 23,000! That's obscene, I've got to say. Honestly, though, I kind of wish in this list here, like, if they just shifted all the names across and the level across, they could actually have a money value here. Like, I know it's making money and you can hover over it, but it would be nice to see how much money it's making. It'd be so much easier to prioritize everything there. Uh, but yeah. We are up here in the north fighting the Bactrians. Hopefully, we can destroy the Bactrians very soon. We do need to take Coropolis, though. Where? I was a bit lost then. And what we're going to do with these guys, we're just going to siege them down. It'll be a bloody and brutal siege, to be honest. But we are going to go for Antiochus's siege over here at Amisos. Keep pushing back against the foul Pontics over here. Very, very mean men. And we're going to fight Akontistai, Greek Slingers, and Ario Barzanes. Another faction leader that we can kill. We don't have exactly an amazing army right now, but it is quite experienced. When this army gets back for retraining, it is going to be a pretty nice army, to be honest. Problem is, on this front, we don't have any recruitment hubs yet. So we are going to try and have to build up one, especially over here when we start getting into the mountains of Armenia. But let's get into the battle, guys, and I will see you there. Here we are, guys. A winter siege, and I did wait it out because there was a bit of a blizzard initially. And it's a fantastic-looking city, isn't it? Look at that temple. Very nice indeed. I do love the look of both the Egyptian and the Pontic cities, I've got to say. Probably my two favorites. Uh, best place to go up the walls is definitely there. So let's get this guy. I know he's a small unit, but he can run around. Uh, we'll also probably get you guys to go up there. And the rest of you will actually stick one of you over there. You two, probably not needed. Get rid of that. Get you here. We don't have many troops to deal with here, do we? I mean, the two archers. Do they even have any archers right now? No. Oh, they do. They do have archers. It seems like it's not saved my firing arcs thing. There we are. There we are. That's better. But yeah, let's start the battle then. Let's get up here. Looks like they're not going to uh, uh, challenge us on the walls there at all. Uh, yeah, probably not. What are you? Yeah, you're the Asian Roll Bodyguard, of course. A fantastic General's Bodyguard unit. As we can see, look, 34, 22, 18, 17. What have we got? I mean, we've actually got better. We've actually got a little bit better. But that is mainly because he's got silver experience on Tychus. If they were... Although, how much experience do you have, my friend? We've got no banners again. There we are. Finally. Let's get that locked on. Nice, there we are. That's better. We can actually see what we're doing now. And only Greek archers. We can... I mean, we should 
be able to kill all of this just with our cavalry. I am slightly worried that Antiochus will die. Uh, but <laughs> Big Diodotus, he is a man of the people. He would be a fantastic general uh, and commander of our nation as he invades Greece as well. Uh, let's speed this up though. We don't need it to be this slow, do we? But I hope you have enjoyed this series, guys. We're still going to keep going until the release of uh, the new update on October the 27th. So we're going to have plenty, plenty more episodes. Probably up to episode 50, really, is where we'll aim for. I can't guarantee we'll get there, but we might as well aim for it, eh? We might as well aim for it. In fact, I should have sent the old Thoroparoi up here. I did send one Thoroparoi, or Thoriophoroi, should I say. I don't know why I say Thoroparoi. It's uh, definitely wrong. <laughs> but let's get uh, let's get the towers firing at them as quick as possible. You guys get through as well. You guys get there, then maybe around this way. So this one gets taken. And they should start firing at them. And then we shouldn't have a problem. So let's get our men in. Uh, in fact, we'll go after the uh, Greek archers if we can. Let's go, men. We've gone for the charge already. They're not even through the gates. Let's go, men. Go, go, go. Imagine if Antiochus got killed by a Greek archer. Oh, we've broken them already. Nice. Uh, well, I kind of want to encourage them to come off the town square. But it, that might not happen, to be honest. I just don't want all my cavalry to die to the Akontistai. So I don't know whether we can bait him in or we can at least bait the Akontistai. Well, they come in anyway. Let's get around the corner so the Akontistai can't actually fire at us. Let's just bait them. Or try to. Looks like they're moving. I don't know what they're doing. We can't really bait them too well right now. They're off the town square at the minute. That's quite good for us. Do we go for the charge? I think we do. Let's get you to rally so you don't die on the charge. Speed it up. That should absolutely shred them. As long as we kill, like, most of these guys, that's no problem. And then we'll want to have a look at killing the Asian Royal Bodyguard. Potentially. So let's get out. Oop, I don't know why I keep doing that. My mouse is not in a great position today. <laughs> get out, men. Get out. And then we'll... We'll switch a Rooney. Turn around. There's not many left, so they can't really do much damage. Only 30 Javis. I always hate that sound. I always think a general has died when that sound goes off. So let's speed it up. Asian robot. Is there king again, remember, guys? Okay, good. Not our king. King versus king. Right, quick before we get killed by the Javis. Fantastic. Nice and easy. Very nice indeed. Let's get back on the campaign map and let's keep putting pressure on all these fools who would defy Seleucid rule. Here we are, guys. And of course, we are going to enslave once again. Now, with the 0.6 coming out on October the 27th, guys, we are going to be starting two new campaigns. One story campaign... And one normal just playthrough campaign like we're kind of doing now at the end of this one. Um, and the playthrough campaign is confirmed. It is going to be the Odrysians. So we've got a few places we need to expand. You should probably not have that then. Um, let's see whether we can build a couple of these. Don't think we'll be able to afford those ones. Definitely not. So we need to make sure we build that next turn. But yeah, Odrysians will definitely be one of them, guys. And then the other one is kind of up to you. I've got three factions in mind for the story campaign. I've got Sparta, the Antigonids, and also, um, of course, the um, Epirus. Sorry. <laughs> Couldn't even remember then. That's quite embarrassing. But anyway... Uh, but yeah, we've got a few in mind. So yeah, we'll just see what happens where we get to. How? Yeah, you can actually go this way, can't you? So if we do take the settlement, you can go in and govern it. We do need more and more governing bodies around here. We've still got this army in Pergamon all getting retrained. But let's uh, get...
get that end turn done. And let's see where we're up to. So, do comment down below who you think we should play. Like I say, there's no guarantees we'll play one of those three factions. But I think, you know, Adrissians especially, is, it's going to be such an interesting campaign. Because where they start is between Pontic Pentapolis, Byzantium, other Thracians like the Bessi and the Asti. And with the Antigonids and the Seleucids down south. And it actually looks like the city does not have... Oh, that is a different city. Does not have plague anymore, I was going to say. <laughs> right. Now, we could have beaten this quite easily with this army. But can we beat both of these armies? Honestly, guys, let's give it a go. I know it's some of our best troops. But honestly, I think we should give it a go. Honestly, think we should give it a go. The horse archers are the only ones that are going to be slightly worrying. But our elephants actually can fire arrows. So that's probably going to be their target. What we've got to do, though, is just go and try and take out this army, like, ASAP. And just destroy it before the second army comes in. So I will see you there, guys. Here we are. And it's quite a good battlefield for us, I've got to say. Not bad at all. We'll try not to run initially, although we do want to take out this army pretty quickly. Uh, what have they got? I mean, the cavalry is a worry. Like, the javelins will start shredding our cavalry. Or the elephants, and we don't want that. So we've got to try and cap, you know, try and squish this, this uh, skirmisher cav quite quickly. So let's get the Ellies in there. One big issue we might have as well, if the Ellies go rogue, we need to just retreat out of the battle so we don't lose them all for no reason. So, see if we can uh, get them get them squished. They might run away, but I think they might actually be okay. Nope, they're going to run. Oh, well. Let's get back out then. You guys get in there. And let's go. Let's just try and max, max effect. Come on, the Ellies. Let's go. <laughs> This is it. It's all about morale shock, like we say. And these guys scare nearby in enemy uh, infantry. Oh, they're, they're, <laughs> they're getting shredded. Right, Ellie's, let's go through. Straight through. Again, that sound really does freak me out. Kill the Asian Royal Bodyguard. Get the, uh, get the Ellie's out of there before the Javis kill them. Guys, guys, like I say, get out of there. <laughs> Cataphracts, this is chaos already. <laughs> chaos. Get the cataphracts out as well. Get back up there, men. I really wanted to kill the general in that charge. Where even is he? I, I can't... Oh, there he is. He's only got three men left. So again, let's get the Ellie's out. We've got to be careful with the Ellie's because they can die quite easily. They can also get scared quite easily, especially if we start losing elephants. You guys kill those uh, skirmisher cav. They should not be a problem for you. Let's go with the cataphracts now. And let's try and kill the Asian Royal Bodyguard. If we can kill him, the rest of this army should crumble. There we are. That's, a, that's their next king that they had. They should be shaken. Kill these boys. Yeah, we should be able to, to mass route everyone here. We don't particularly need to kill everyone. Oh, they got mercenary hoplites. They should die quite quickly. Come on. Now we've got an Ellie go mad. That's not great. That's not great. It's not good for us because our next Ellie might go mad. So we need... Now, they've both gone mad now. Can I still order you around? Like, not very well. That's the problem, isn't it? Right, well, I think we should probably retreat just to save our elephants here. Because I don't want to kill the elephants, of course. So let's, uh, let's get out. It was fun while it lasted, wasn't it, guys? How many did we kill in the end? I mean, we killed 300 and something. Nearly 400. That's not too bad. Did lose a few Ellie's. But like I say, with the elephants, we should still have the same amount of Ellie's when we get back uh, to the campaign map as we do right now. Just because... Oh, unless they all die like they have done. They're all dying. Oh, they're, they're smashing them though. That's pretty good. <laughs> but they've all died. Hopefully they get re repaired. If they get repaired, that'd be good. Uh, but I, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay, maybe it was an ambitious plan. 
But I think we, we had the upper hand there until they went crazy. Let's have a look. How many did we... Oh, because we lost, no one got healed. So we've only got three elephants left. Well, that was a bit of a waste, wasn't it, guys? Anyway. <laughs> oh, terrible scenes. Terrible scenes. But they're easy to retrain. So we'll train some new ones in Antioch and get them over to us. Or Pergamon, to be fair, as well. So I will see you back on the campaign map. Here we are, guys. And we did run back to the city. So that's four. I think we ran back to the city. Although that is that unit up there. But they are going to the northern city. Oh, hello, Cappadocia. Trying to bribe us once again. But there's a big Armenian army there. <laughs> and the Armenian army didn't attack. Well done, Armenia. <laughs> AI gonna AI, guys. Um, but yeah, let's get our spy moving... Up here. See if we can just find any settlements around here. If there's... Oh. I mean, see if there's anything, like, worthwhile. <laughs> or is it just mountains? We've got those guys up there. That's just to check that they're not going to go crazy. We've got you here. What's in there? Horse archers again, though. Let's have a look. Mercenaries? Yes, there are mercenaries. Good. Let's take them, definitely. You're instead going... Um... I press on you? There we are. Okay. <laughs> just about. Just about. Uh, but we'll get the spy moving. Get him moving across. And yeah, let's see whether there's any settlements around here. I'm sure there are some along these mountains. Because there's trade resources here. And it's not part of this, uh, this sort of area. Uh, this province, should I say. But yeah, Bactri is a rich old place now. Very rich indeed. That's what we like to see, isn't it, boys? Get the army through. And these are the last... These should be, hopefully, the last two settlements of Bactria. But I'm not 100% certain, so let's just go and check that. Let's get the spy around here, because there is a settlement about there. Yeah, there we are. They haven't taken it. Nagara. And that is an Indian settlement, I believe. It is. Although Iranian seems to be on the up there as well. Uh, so that's all the movement we want to do. How? Let's have a look at this battle. We're not going to take it just yet. We'll go through the turn first. Because we've, we've done no turn management at all. Oh. We've only just sieged it down. So that's fine. Uh, we're going to wait that one out. And yeah. After the bloody war that we've had on the northern front. Things touch wood. Yes. Are starting to calm down. Now, this battle, I do want the auto resolve, but I also feel kind of bad because it because it kind of is the last <laughs> refuge of the Ptolemies. And it's kind of But how fitting though, guys, that the Ptolemies go out with a whimper, not with a bang. I feel like that is very fitting. And they literally only inflicted 12 casualties on us. And is it gonna pop up? Is it gonna pop up? No! 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 Where, where, where are they then? What the hell? You're kidding me. Because we've come the whole way down this coast. Literally the whole way down this. Oh my god, they have had rioting here. Like, never seen. <laughs> Look at that. That is terrible, terrible rioting. It's literally only a large town as well. Uh, I don't think they would have anything inland here. Do we have access to a spy? No. Well, we need to... Do we get a spy from that? No. We need to get up to market level. So, let's get the market in... Uh, no, let's go roads, then market straight away. Doesn't really matter about that army too much. But let's have a look. Like, down here, it's all Troglodytike, Adulis, Troglodytike, Troglodytike, Wilderness. I mean, that one's the end. They could have something over here. That could carry on. There is a road going that way. They don't have anything in Crete. Oh, wait. Yeah, uh, sorry, Crete. Kyrene. Don't have anything in Kyrene. Let's get a spy here, though, and we'll send them 
that way. That might be the last one. Well, they didn't go out with a whimper because they didn't go out. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> Interesting. But if it is up there, we'll use this army to conquer all these settlements down here. Now, ideally, I would like one of these to be a large, like a, a city or something. But it looks like they're all towns. God damn it, man. Just nothing. There's just nothing down here. It's not worth it, guys. It's not worth it. 100% not worth it. Uh, look at this trade going from Alexandria now. And it only makes 5,000. Kind of sad, really. Uh, when Seleucia is making 24,000. Right. You guys move. Did the elephants and that survive-ish? Is what I'm going to say. Not fully survive, but survive-ish. Uh, they didn't go there. They went here. Let's get you back into Kamana Pontos. Although it is fully, fully rioting now. 45% is the only thing. Do have an execution square. I think, that, honestly, the only thing that's going to save it is if we... Yeah, if we get, a, if we get games in there. Well, you are happy. So, let's get you across. How high are we going to go now? 50%. It's not much. Let's see if we can get some mercenaries just to tide us over. And this army is a mercenary heavy army anyway. Oh, there's loads we can get. I know it's expensive, guys. But these guys are actually quite good. Uh, let's just get the Pisidian Javelin men. They're not fantastic, but... Uh, general, 100%. And then let's swap around some of these low units. We'll also get the elephants out of there. Just so they don't die in the riots. That would be kind of sad if your elephants just died. Were just killed in riots. <laughs> uh, yeah, that would be very sad indeed. So that's probably three elephants. Even though it says three and they normally have three people on top. That probably is three elephants. And we have managed to tide them over for the time being. But how long is that going to last? That is the question. So let's keep bringing our spies along here so we keep a good view of Pontus. And in terms of Pontus, it looks like they've got this area here. That's Cappadocia. And this area here. Of course, this region as well, which is actually no longer plagued. Which is good for us. Let's make sure we get that building in while we can. Ladokia, that's actually a really good one for us to get. Nikephorion as well. Let's queue you up. Then we've also got Tagai. Let's get you. And Bostra as well. Finally growing up. We've got a couple of civil disorders. Like we said, come on at Pontos. Pacoras, yeah, there's, there's just nothing we can really do with Pacoras. It's probably going to rebel next turn. And I just don't think there's anything we can do. Of course, we're the most advanced faction. Of course. Why would we not be? And we got a lot of the Odians that turn, it looks like. A few crop rotations and stuff as well. Yeah, we've got a decent amount of stuff. Right, let's have a look up in the north. What do we have to do in terms of troop movement? We've got you coming down here. So we need to have an attack on there. We've got you. How happy slash unhappy are some of these places? Because we really should start moving some of these troops. You, Antiochus, I very, 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 very much doubt that you can leave without them being incredibly, incredibly upset, if I can speak today. I mean, that's not too bad, honestly. See if the Shrine to Hera... Forget the Shrine to Hera there. And honestly, all we would need is one more unit, so... Does this the Roperoid count? actually can come out of the city so let's get you going there anyway and we'll stick we're just gonna milk Antiochus's army till it's pretty much dead um, or until Pontus is dead at least then we'll send it back for retraining because we've got Cappadocia then to worry about so let's keep coming along it's just really hard to know where to go in these mountains like do we go up here especially when they don't have roads if they'd have built roads, it'd be a lot easier to see where we're going. So, well done, AI, for screwing us over there. It would have been nice to have known that you brought roads. Uh, we got those guys. We got this one. 
Did we just start that siege? We did. Uh, and we've got the Greece invasion. So, let's come down this way. And let's see what has Sparta got to offer us. Oh, right next to the city we can do that. Nice. Uh, oh, dearie me. We should win that. I mean, if we'd lost that, that would have been ridiculous. So get you guys off the boats, because that's the most important thing. Getting your armies off the boats, guys. <laughs> and we have boat bombed Sparta. Bang, straight in there. All they have is their general and the Spartan cavalry, which is absolute trash, I've got to say. Now let's get our second army, led by Great Diodotus, who is destined for great things. And just look at that army. And he has a Spartan, a big Spartan army there ready to come and attack us. What the hell? He is general stacking like hell. Oh my god. That's horrible. That's that's actually OP as hell, man. Well done, AI. <laughs> so yeah, the Seleucids and Sparta now at war. And we just want to clean Sparta up and take a lay of the land. Get a spy. See what's actually going on here because it looks very much like last time we were here. It was the Antigonids dominating the island. But it could be someone completely... Not the island, the Peloponnese. But it could be someone completely different now. We don't really know. Full gold armor and everything now, guys. Which is fantastic. Uh, let's get rid of you. Let's get another elephant to reinforce over here. We've also got to remember about Antioch, of course. Because this army now should be ready to go. We've got Selefkos. How old? Yeah, Selefkos. Four command already is absolutely fantastic. So let's get you all up there. Looks like we can maybe have got an extra armor upgrade. But honestly, don't think it matters too much. What are we... Oh, we don't... Yeah, you aren't coming with us, are you? I was going to say, how have we counted that wrong? We should also keep on recruiting at Antioch. And let's recruit some more units. Maybe... See, guys, I really do want to do a full Cataphract and Hetairoi army. So, let's get started on that. Let's get started on that, shall we say? Uh, uh, yeah. Let's go for Nymphaios. We'll probably go Nymphaios up to that one. Then back to the Cappadocian one that rebelled against us. What was that one called? Uh, Melatine, yeah. We invested a lot of money in Melatine, so a bit annoying that we can't do anything about it now. Right, let's get another spy. We need some more spies, don't we? Spies everywhere. Let's make sure you've actually run out of movement points. Just for my peace of mind, you know. Uh, right then, I think that's all the movement we can do. We've got these guys coming up to Garrison Cities. So quite a lot of them, but that's fine. Uh, that's quite good, actually. We can't leave here. Antiochus can probably leave next turn. And where will you go? Probably to Amasia. Uh, you guys get behind the city because I don't actually want them to attack. I was hoping they were going to attack this army, but it is quite well uh, defended, isn't it? Now, it looks very much like we should auto resolve this but with a faction air in there's probably not a good idea so it looks like this is going to be a bit of a siege episode guys uh, but i was hoping they would come and attack us but i guess they didn't want to so let's get into the battle guys and let's have a bit of fun here he goes we did not seek war yes we did bro <laughs> oh baby Let's go. I just love the Seleucid roster. We've got a Cataphract in here now as well, haven't we? For the boys. Where are you, Cataphract, by the way? Ah, huh. you're just hiding. Oh, God. They look so good. Yes. Oh, and this is actually quite a good little settlement for us to assault. Let's get our archers on the walls like we normally would. They've got a sap point over there as well. They, they do tend to like to defend sap points. So let's get you there. 
And the rest of you, we'll get you in front of the gates as usual. And we'll try and use our trasher troops like the Theroperoi, the easier to retrain troops for this battle. And the uh, Greek Hoplites as well. Let's group you up. And then the cavalry, of course. Andragoras the Handsome. What a legend. Did we name a city after Andragoras on Crete yet? I think we need to. Andragorion or Andraga... Andraga... Andragomenon? I don't know. Something <laughs> that sounds Greek to me anyway, who's not Greek. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, getting the archers up, always a good choice. Let's get them up as quick as we possibly can. I don't think we'll need that sap point. Right, we'll get... Oh, they do have people on the walls. So, of course, we've got to be slightly wary of that. Uh, you guys get there. You guys get there. Let's just slow it down for a second. We've got to be careful here. Because they do have guys there. Now, in terms of that then, let's get probably these hoplites. Let's get them up here. You guys, I want you to go there. I want you guys to come back here as well. While we're getting the hoplites up. So we can fire at the Asian Light Spearmen. You guys should be able to fire down here now. And then we'll get two Theroperoi. Guys, get up. You guys get up as well. There we are. Good. Now we can speed it up. Uh, yeah. Come on, boys. Speed up. Where are you? What are you getting? Oh, it's Cappadocian cavalry firing their missiles at us. Okay. That's good. It's better the Greek uh, archers than it is any of the other units, to be honest. The Asian light spearmen are just trash, so we don't need to worry about them. Like, even the Greek archers probably will have an, an alright time against them. But let's uh, be careful for a second and get the Greek archers away. Because then they'll start running through the hoplites and then the hoplites can actually fight them. What we should do is you guys go here. You can fire quite well there. And I'm assuming if you go there, you'll be able to actually fire all that way. You don't have the best range, but it's not terrible either, is it? Right, guys, come on. I thought that tower was ours. Then why are we dying outside here, then? Come on, you're, you're absolutely crap, honestly. Let's speed this up. Right, Hoplites, you shouldn't have any problem whatsoever fighting these boys. you got some silver armor and weapons and stuff as well. Uh, Halt? Fire at them? Okay, you don't want to. That's fine. You should be able to fire now. Yep, there we are. Good. Greek slingers have actually got the range on us here. That's probably why the hoplites are dying so much. Don't think that's helping. Don't think that's helping. Right. Oh, they've all gone. They're all dead. Let's get you guys here. You guys... Should go here to fire down into the enemy. I know it's finicky, guys. I know it takes a while, but don't you worry. We'll have plenty more big battles in future to come, of course. What are they doing? Don't know what they're doing, but that's good at least. We're shooting down on them now. Come on, hoplites. Get done so we can finally get through here and we can get our archers down where they need to be, which is over here. Get there. Good. Guys on fire at will. You guys on fire at will as well. Fire at the general, ideally. But apparently you don't want to. <laughs> That's fine. Good. Let's get over here. Now, cavalry time probably is the best option. I think let's have a look at what else they've got. They've not got really got anything to, to beat our cavalry right now. So I think we'll just go for the cavalry. The old cavalry charge. Not something unheard of, is it? Uh, yeah, get in, boys. 
And what do they have infantry-wise? Just hillmen. Absolute trash munchers. Let's go, then. You guys probably go after them, then. You guys go after the Asian archers. Speed it up. Just got to be wary of when that, that general decides to attack. Which is now. <laughs> Let's go. This is all the better cavalry on this side, anyway. Let's leave those, whatever they were, behind. Oh, they've all died, anyway. <laughs> right into the back of the general. And we should surround him, kill him. Honestly, not bothered about you fighting them. That's fine. I think you'll do fine. Good. And it wasn't a king for once. Right. Charge them. And now let's charge them. Four of them left. Good. Nice and easy, boys. Fantastic. Wipe them out. They still killed 183. Honestly, that's quite surprising. But it was mainly the hoplites there that lost men and the archers. Few cavalry losses, but nothing we can't handle, boys, is it? Nothing we can't handle. Anyway, I will see you back on the campaign map. Here we are, guys. And of course, let's enslave. And let's see if we can instantly leave. <laughs> like we try every single time. Does have an execution square and an academy, which is quite nice as settlements go. 20%. I don't... Somehow don't think two Acontista is going to make a difference there, but... 60%. You're kidding. We're going. We're leaving, my friends. Let's go straight for Amicia. Bang! Come on! Smash him. Let's go, boys. It's what we like to see. Ptolemies are on the run, my friends. On the run. Uh, so I think that's all the movement we wanted to do this turn, isn't it? Uh, let's have a look. Anyone else? I don't think so. A bit annoying that the Ptolemies are not, you know, dead <laughs> right now. But uh, yeah, that's fine. Uh, I saw her actually grow. Nice. Let's get that in there then. And uh, let's go through some settlements. So, yeah, let's go right to the top this time. We'll go from the top again. So we kind of go to a different situation now where... <laughs> definitely get the uh, Academy in Odessa, 100%. Get some more traits for our boy. Uh, secret Police HQ, I'll take that, definitely. Uh, I'm assuming you don't have too much corruption, though. You actually have none. So that's pointless. Get the Shrine to Taiki. Yeah, an extra 200. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad, my friends, is it? Uruk. Uh, yeah, Uruk. There's not a huge amount. Like, all of these ones, like, we don't really have too much to build anymore. So, like, Alexandria Charax, for example, does have a port. But the port isn't trading, so... And we've got all the temples we can get. Do we have corruption? No. So there's literally no point in building anything here, really. I mean, the grain imports will get the population growth up, but it's pointless. We'd just be building for the sake of building and wasting money. So, Apamea, Kibotos. This is quite a nice settlement, honestly. I do like this one. Uh, 5,400 from this bad boy. So, we're nearly at the awesome Temple of Hera here. Oh, my God. And we've still got that much corruption, bro. Uh, let's... We've got the execution square and the secret police HQ. Let's get that in there. That's going to reduce it by 700. That's an obscene amount, bro. <sighs> Elusa all the way over here. Not the greatest of settlements. But not terrible either. Let's just go through a bit more of a... We'll, go, we'll take it a little bit slower on this one. And we'll look at what we are building for once. Rather than just smashing everything out. So you guys can see kind of the, the thought process behind it. So let's go... Secret Police HQ there isn't too bad. But you can see that uh, practice range. 341 gold we're gaining from just building a practice range. Which is fantastic. Uh, Alexandria, Carmania, kind of in the middle of nowhere again. So how much would the crop rotation bring? Not that much. The academy, nothing really. Neither will the uh, the port. So let's go for it. That's 132 from the Temple of Hera. Stables again, 378. 
So I know it's not that thematically accurate. Why does it always jump down like that? God damn it, man. Uh, I know it's not that thematically accurate, but it does help us out uh, in quite a big way. Like 200 extra gold. Like all these... When we've built... I don't know why I choose stables every time as well. I have some weird... <laughs> Weird thing about choosing stables. This has no corruption here at Thyatera. That's actually fantastic. Let's get the academy while we've got a governor in there. Start making some proper money in here when they get some better... I mean, they've got eight <laughs> governan governance anyway. So, pretty good. Uh, management, should I say. Again, stables. Gonna be the one. Unless... No, actually, let's go Hera here because it's cheaper. It's a nice, cheap building, Temple of Hera. Uh, Smyrna, let's see what we do here thousand corruption again execution square definitely so that's a bit more thematically better and why does it jump fuck me bro it's pissing me off honestly like why like it's just so annoying why does it have to jump down like that jesus christ i know it's a small thing but these little small things do piss me off bro it's not the mod it's it's the ui of the uh, of Romy mastered like, what? Like, why is it down there now? Come on. It just makes it so annoying. Like, I click on this. Like, okay. Now it's not jumping. But that's... It's because I've opened this up. Like, why would it jump away from what this settlement is because I've opened that up? Makes no sense. Come on, man. Right. Yeah. Yep. That's gonna... And why does it jump down when I press on it now? Come on. Jesus Christ, man. Oh, yeah, I'm, you know, I said I was going to go through this slowly. This is pissing me off too much. Right. Sorry. Salty. 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 Salty red out again. Salty red. <laughs> I do come out every now and then if you are new to the channel. Um, Mr. Cherry does prod me into it, though. Uh, but yeah, let's not go for the academy here. Let's go for that. That's a bit of extra corruption reduction. Uh, no, it's shite. Let's not get that. Let's go for the river ports. 329. Nothing to sniff at, is it? It's a pretty good one. Oh, jumping down. Uh, Kadoi. Yeah, Kadoi. Not awful, but not fantastic. Let's go for that one then. And then let's go with Katayon. Uh, what do we want here? I don't know why I scrolled up then, because we're going to have to do it all again now. Fantastic. Antioquia uh, Meandros. Let's have a look. Not much corruption either. How much will that bring? Not much. What about the... That's quite good for the farms at that level. So let's stick the farms in there. Trelaeus. Trelaeus has actually got a lot of farms. That farm doesn't provide that much money. But how about the Inland Trade Center? That's decent. Because it's got hardly any corruption there. So there's no point building another corruption reduction building there. Uh, how about the... Oh, the market's actually not too bad. Uh, where are you, Keros? Let's go stables. 200 again is very good. Gaining an extra 200 a turn, guys, is fantastic. Now, this might take a while for me to go through everything here, but it's just a good bit of campaign management that we can get out the way done. Um, and I can show you, you know, what the impact these corruption buildings, these law buildings do have. Because it's, it's massive, like you can see. So you can see that even the secret police HQ doesn't have anywhere near as much law increase as the uh, as these stables. So this is the current meta. I don't think this is the meta for version 0.6. Honestly, I can't remember, but I'm pretty sure it's not. Now we're getting to the second level of these buildings, guys. You can see they don't actually provide law. So there's no point building them at this point. We can either buy the secret police HQ or we could go for... Temple of Hero. Well, the Hero Temple is a lot cheaper, and we can scale it up. So let's build that instead. In fact, let's go for Seleucia Perea. Again, a bit of corruption. Stables! <laughs> Those extra 200 gold, guys, is going to be absolutely invaluable going forward. Like, it doesn't sound like a lot, but it's a lot. When we're doing it in, say, 50 settlements, that's a lot of gold. Don't want to do the maths right now. <laughs> Ah, uh, well, yeah. Yeah, it's 10,000, isn't it? I mean, it's a lot of gold a turn. So, yeah, corruption again. Yeah, let's keep building these. 
I know we... <laughs> let's just go... Let's just speed this up now. We can actually speed this up now. I don't need to look at these. Uh, like Baroya, for example. Build that. Sariesa. Build that. Uh, Heropolis. We, we did it a little bit of slow slow campaign management. I actually don't think Heropolis has... Oh, it does have corruption. That's fine then. Let's build that. Uh, Apamea Zugma. Apamea Zugma. You're right here. Uh, yeah, stables again. Seleucia so Hadiphon. You probably don't have any corruption. So let's build the irrigation instead. Extra population growth and some extra money. Nippur isn't growing right now. So what can we do to improve that? Looks like we've actually built everything we can in terms of growth. Uh, maybe not the Great Agora. Yeah, let's go with the Great Agora. That'll bring our growth up to 1%, which is fantastic. Is over here. Let's build the crop rotation. Actually, no. Our general in here has no management. So let's get the academy instead. Make sure he's getting better. Same over here. Let's go for the Scriptorian. Make sure we're getting good... Uh, retinues for these guys. Articana. Let's go with the market. Then we can actually build the academy after that. Over here at Mytilene. Uh, oh, Mytilene's an island. Forgot about that. Let's go with the stables for that extra law. And Antiochia, Persis. Same thing here, just to make sure there isn't any uh, problems. Let's go crop rotation in Passagardi. Just for that extra bit of growth, because it's nearly at a, a large city now, which is great. Uh, Taoki as well needs some extra growth, so we'll go for the aqueduct. And Bizpoutis, let's have a look at you. Again, you've got a decent amount of growth. You are quite far north, so you're going to have corruption, so let's go for the stables there. Tyre, again, probably I'll check the corruption here, yeah. Still, even at Tyre, there's a lot of corruption. So, yeah, let's smash that in. Miletos over here, one of the famous Greek cities. Look how far down it scrolled us then. God damn it. It's still pissing me off. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. Salty Zach is out uh, today. Uh, let's get the market three turns and it'll grow very soon. We've got a load of places building there, which is great. Iope over here. Let's build that stables for that corruption reduction. Selge as well, a new nation in version uh, 0.6. Good. We'll build that. And Korakizion. Honestly, no point in building anything there. I mean, apart from the elite tax. But like I say, we're not building the elite tax buildings. We'll take the ones that we have given to us. But we're not going to build any others. Let's get the stable in Arsinoclysma. Let's see. Kibera. Let's go probably for the... Stables again for that corruption reduction. Karakata here in the north. Definitely the paved roads because this is a our recruitment hub in this region. Wait, does it have... Yeah, it has Seleucid recruitment. Good. And uh, yeah, we want those roads to build up. And also the trade with the Bactrian area as well is fantastic. We want as much trade as possible. Guys. 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 Guys! Oh, yes! Come on! Yes! We're building everywhere. Oh, my God. Yes! Come on! It's taken us so long. How long have I been saying we're so close to building everywhere? And it has finally come, guys. Now we can do all our building off the construction scroll and not have to deal with that stupid scrolling piece of shit. Yes, come on. Oh, yes. Fantastic. Oh. Oh, well, we'll build in the two settlements that, we, uh, that we're not building in then. It was, was it Tyana? Where was it? Uh, yeah, it was Kirkizion. Let's build, let's build the Colony 1 Greek. That's actually useful. And it was Alexandria Charax. And then we'll just, sw uh, just, we'll just make sure. Right, let's build, uh, oh, we don't, we probably don't need the execution square there. No, we don't. Let's build then the, let's just build some happiness in the Lyceum or something like that. 
And let's just check anywhere else that needs building. No! Oh! <laughs> well, that is a glorious sight, I've got to say. <laughs> Absolutely glorious, guys. So, what we should do, I think next episode we'll probably attack that one. Um, we can't attack there. We are pretty much destroying Pontus right now. We can't leave this settlement either. Um, we will be able to leave there next turn. Can we leave Pergamon? I didn't check that. No, we're still retraining everyone. That's fine. They've got all gold now, which is fantastic. We're probably going to get attacked. We have finally invaded Greece, guys. Landing in Greece. Fantastic. And we're building everywhere, which is just glorious. That does mean now, though, 100% we need to, uh, <laughs> we need to make a full cataphract army. We're at that point, boys. We're at that point. Did we get that spy yet, or did I... Yeah, he's, he's, he's uh, queued in. Oh, fantastic. Let's go. Oh, I'm so happy with this. But I just thought to end, let's have a look at our ranking and, like, how we're doing. So apparently we're third in the military. I don't know how. Probably the dummies, which is the rebels, will have more than us. In terms of our ally allies, we've got the Sarka. Somehow, I don't remember getting the Getai as an ally, but okay. Atropatine, Bosporans, which makes sense, and Epirus still who still exist. Enemies, Ptolemies, Bactria, Armenia, Pontus, Cappadocia, Odrysians for some reason, Sparta, of course, the GCS. Uh, that makes sense. And we've got a load of trade partners. We've got Parthia, and Kyrene has been a protectorate since the start of the game. We are the second largest faction. Obviously, the, we are the largest faction. The dummies are bigger. We have more production, more finances than anyone else. We've won 187 battles, lost 33. And we've control now nearly 200 regions, guys. 194 with 292 family members. Let's have a look at our economy then. 558,000 a turn. Wow. I, I think by the end of this campaign, guys, we'll be topping a million when we have all of Greece. Farming-wise is making 80,000 trade. 281,000. Mining, about 18,000. That's definitely gone up a lot since we've taken Bactria. And we are losing, uh, making 149,000 from taxes and 24,000 extra. So that is population growth per turn. So that is how much we should be increasing our uh, thing up here by a turn, really, uh, which is good. In terms of turn expenditure, army upkeep is a lot and... <laughs> We've got 176 Akontistai. Our army is dominated by Akontistai. 107 general bodyguards. Only 19 Zistafori. That's actually quite... And 23 of those. That really doesn't seem like many. Um, so yeah, we've actually not got that many units, really, when you look at it. Only 599 units. Uh, recruitment. Again, we're losing a bit. Construction, of course. And other... Which is most likely, you know, uh, losing it to corruption, all that sort of thing. So net turn income, of course, six thousand eight hundred, but that's because we spend all our money, and yeah, that's <laughs> that's quite good. Right, let's go on the family tree. Oh, we don't need to go on the family tree. We've had a look at that many times. Let's go on here then. Let's get the top five factions, and also I'm going to check the size of the Ptolemies uh, as well. But overall ranking. Rome is the only thing that comes close. The Antigonids and the Belgae are doing all right. Same as Carthage, really. Military, Rome still is, uh, you know, overtaking us. But we are closing the gap, which is kind of crazy. Carthage, the Belgae, and the Antigonids are all pretty much exactly the same. Look at our production recently. Jeez, that is crazy. And you can see Rome is pretty much on exactly 40. We are nearly... Five times that amount of territory. And just look at our finances. Since we've concentrated on corruption and trade, we have absolutely been destroying them. And we now have nearly 2.4 million population in the game, guys. This, I believe, is a raw number. So that is 2.4 million people uh, under our control in-game guys in game which is just absolutely mental 
That is just mental. Oh, wait, I was going to say, yeah, territory. So, yeah, Ptolemies must have one or two settlements still. I don't know where. <laughs> Let's have a look at their diplomatic standing. It doesn't show... I was going to see whether we could cheekily see them on this map. They're allied to Armenia and the Greek city-states. They're trading with the Antigonids, but where are they? That's the question. I don't actually know where they are at all. But, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. They still exist somehow. But, yeah. Glad. Look at this now. 4,700 uh, and uh, Mazaka. Fantastic. What a great settlement Mazaka is. But, guys... I think that's going to be it for today. I hope you have enjoyed. I have been salty. I have been happy. And we've fought many siege battles. But we'll definitely have a few more field battles coming up for you guys um, in the next few episodes. Definitely in Central Pontus. It's, it's at that mop-up stage now where field battles, you know, are less likely to happen when you've mopped up all the big armies and had quite a few field battles anyway. So, yeah, that's probably why. But... I 100% expect Sparta to attack at least this army, if not this one as well. Um, this one is a better army, uh, but this one is fantastically good as well. And Sparta is a huge city, so once we've taken it, we can make it into a recruitment hub pretty quickly and uh, try and use Sparta as our recruitment uh, hub for this region. And there's so many cities in this region that this recruitment hub is not far away from any of them so it's not a problem at all but anyway guys thank you very much for watching please do like subscribe all that good stuff it really does help the channel out and i will see you all again on the next video